family stuff. So you just finished the RE7 Midnight Demo and the ridiculous laughless giggle puzzle to earn yourself a dirty old coin you can use in the main game. You also pre-ordered Resident Evil 7 and were promised it came with a lucky coin in the Survival Pack DLC. So what exactly are you going to do with these coins? How will they help boost your stats? And how will they increase your survival chances in... Resident Evil 7. We caught our first glimpse of these colorful coins months ago and freaked out about rumors of a merchant, an old Outbreak character, and the dreaded microtransaction. All now debunked. But coins in Resident Evil? Ethan is Mario? Confirmed? It's me, Mario. Capcom showed us the coin usage as there will be gold cages found in the game that have upgrades inside to buy. And the only way to open them is the same way our ancient ancestors played Donkey Kong, by feeding in coins. Each cage asks for a number of coins, so the different coins are the same size and value probably. But is the coin from the demo one of these same types of coins, or does it have a different purpose? And sorry Zombs, it looks like these cages are self-serve, so there won't be a merchant-like character. No, not even Grandma. What are you buying? So what exactly will we be buying with these coins? Upgrades to help us destroy the bakers, of course. You can increase max health, upgrade reload speed, and even be like Barry and purchase your very own Magnum with these coins. I have this. The stat-related upgrades appear to come in an auto-injector syringe to enter into the bloodstream. Are these created from the same fungus slash virus aiding the bakers? Are they permanent? Are there any bad side effects? And what other upgrades might we inject into our bodies in the game? Along with the pre-star coins Capcom is making it rain with for pre-order buzz, there will be a number of hard-to-find coins hidden throughout the game. And if the RE7 path tells us anything so far, there will be more upgrades than coins and decisions will have to be made. So this January, you better put on your fanny packs, dig up those change purses, and start collecting coins. Because an old coin might be the key to unlocking a weapon that will take down the Baker family once and for all in... Resident Evil 7. Crimson Army, what upgrades would you like to see in the game? And do you care that some people will start with coins that you might not have? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe!